Have you just received your Fritzbox 7530 and you wanted to connect it up to your existing phone line? Well, in this video, I'll walk you through the steps that you need to do to get yourself up and running. So to start with, we're going to look at exactly what you get in the Fritz box packaging. So the first thing you'll see when you open the box is the router itself. And this is the Fritz box 7530 by AVM. Don't worry if you open yours and it's blue. That is simply a protective film that will just peel away. Next, you'll find this cable. And this is your Ethernet or RJ45 cable with one end yellow and one end white. You'll use this cable to connect your router to either another computer or a laptop or maybe even a network switch. Next in the box, we have this longer cable, which is an RJ11 or DSL cable. And this is the cable that you will use to connect your router to your phone line. And I'll go through that in a little bit more detail in just a moment. The biggest tell for this cable is it's got two different size connectors on the end. One is larger than the other, and I'll explain why in just a moment. The next thing you'll find in the box is your ADSL micro filter, and you'll have two different size ports, one for phone and one for modem, and this is what plugs directly into your socket, depending on the socket you've got. Again, I will go in that in just a moment. And then you'll have your power cable. Now this comes in two different parts. And all you need to do is simply hold it like this and hold the plug this way up, hook it in, click it in, and there you go. That is the power cable for your Fritz box. And that's the main things you need for your connection. There are other things in the box, for example, this little black connector here. For now, you don't need to worry about that as it's not currently used for this setup. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look at how we remove your previous provider's equipment off the line and replace it with your new Zen equipment. And first thing we need to do is locate the old router and follow the cable all the way back to the phone socket itself. Now, if your phone socket looks like this, the chances are you'll have a micro filter plugged in. Simply pinch that, remove it, and that's the equipment taken away. If your socket looks like one of these, this is a filtered faceplate. And all you need to do is pinch the cable at the top, slide it out, and you've done the exact same step. Once you've isolated the old equipment, we can now move that away, and we'll be replacing it with the new Zen equipment. Now, when you open this up, obviously as we discussed before, you start with your Fritzbox router. Then what you're going to need is the long DSL or RJ11 cable. And if you remembered, it has two different size connectors. And what you want to do is get the bigger of the two, and you want to connect that directly into the DSL port on the back. And then take the smaller connector and just place it by your socket. If you have a filtered faceplate like this one, you can just connect that directly into the top. And then that's it. That's all connected up. However, if your socket is like this, an NT5, what you will now need is the micro filter out of the box. And what you want to do is get the smaller end of the connector and connect it into the modem port on the bottom of the filter. And then connect this directly into the socket. And there you go. The router is now connected to the line, but it's not turned on. So now what you need is to get that power plug. And if you remember from before, Hold the power plug down with the wire pointing up, get the plug with the two prongs on the bottom, hook it in and click. And then unravel it, take the power cable, plug it into the back of the router, and then plug it into the mains. And it's as simple as that. Now, you should see the lights come on the router and they'll go through the power on stages and connecting and coming online. The light that you're looking for is the DSL light. Once that light is lit, your connection is online, and that light should start to flicker, which represents traffic moving back and forth. 
If you wanted to connect this router via wired to a device, all you need to do is get that RJ45 cable or ethernet cable, unravel it like so, and take either of the ports, it doesn't really matter, and plug them into one of the LAN ports on the back of your router. So I'm gonna go for LAN two. And then take the other end of that cable and connect it into the ethernet port on your device. And that computer or laptop will now be connected to the internet via wired. If you want to know how to confirm the settings in that router now that it's all connected up and you've not got online, click on this video here, where I'll walk you through those steps. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, click on that like button below. If you want to see more videos like this, do please click on that subscribe button. But until next time, thank you very much.